But you have to repent, turn away from the old way. The old way of lying, sleeping around, stealing, materialism, pride, selfishness, all the Ten Commandments, where it talks about honor your father and mother, honor the Sabbath day. It talks about not having any other gods but him. It talks about not using the name, Lord's name in vain, that we have to turn away from all that is wrong and turn to Christ who died for us on that cross. And if we do, we have new life. We become born again of the Holy Spirit. We have new life, new joy. We have the life of God in the soul. And it's a new life. When it says in the Word of God, we are new creatures in Christ. We become new creatures. The old has passed away, and behold, all things are new. Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. He says, out of the belly shall flow rivers of living water. He says, I have come to give you life more abundant. And he wants to fill us with the abundant life of the Holy Spirit of God in our lives. Rather than filling it with things that do not help our soul. So many things in this life distract us and fill our soul with bad things. And yet God wants to fill our soul with good things. But it starts by knowing that Christ died on that cross for us. That it says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes on him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God so loved the world. He loved you that he gave everything. He gave his son. The son of God was given for you on that cross that you may have eternal life. For God so loved